Hey, so we're just a quick overview on how we install composite panel and what composite panel is. So we'll start. This is a piece of composite panel. We call these the splines. This is your standard uh, reveal. We'll show you how it installs later, but you can see the makeup of the panel. So it's two very thin skins of aluminum laminated to, uh, mm -hmm. this is a fire resistant core that's white, or you have a poly core that's black, which is not as common anymore. So this is a fabricated panel right here. This is this is what we're typically installing. I'll flip this over, and you can see what's underneath. So it comes from our manufacturer with all the rails in. The corners are riveted together. The only thing that we install on site are these clips here. I'll pull this uh, tape off this clip so you can see. It's just an old panel that. Uh, old defective panel from the job. Excuse all the dirt. So we use small screws uh, with a sort of flat head. Um, doesn't have to be these exact specific screws, but it's a fastener like this. So we'll put a clip on like this and fasten it in. And we generally do one, you know, roughly every 18 inches, uh, depending on the panel size. So you can see we've got three along this face and two on the top and bottom of the panel. If you look in the center of the panels, there'll often be a number engraved in there. This number will correspond with a number on the drawing. So you'll have typically you'll have a drawing that will show the exact placement of each piece. Now it's important to check on the back, make sure you're getting the right piece in the right location. This red tape, we put a tape, a uh, tuck tape or a foam tape. Uh, only when we're installing, these are aluminum clips, when we're installing them on steel, um, we don't want any oxidization. So it's really important to put a barrier there if you're installing the panel on, on a piece of steel. So a steel Z-bar or uh, a girt or something like that. So if it's on wood, you don't need these. Or if you have a blue skin or something, uh, again, you don't need these. So this is just if it's going direct onto steel. So I'll show you how the two panels fasten together. So when you've got these clips on, uh, you want to just be mindful of where you're putting the clips on this panel relative to your next panel so that uh, they can fit together. So here's our next panel. So you would install this one like this. Now you'd be installing from the other side. This is the back. Um, but this gives you a you know, kind of inside view of how it would get installed. So you see here we put one clip in the middle. These two clips will also lock into this panel. So it locks in like that. You want to make sure you're locking in. Here we'll come around. You can zoom in. Zoom in down here. We'll show how this locks in. You can see there's two grooves. There's a groove here at the bottom and a groove here at the top. So you want to make sure that we're locked into the groove on the top like that. So this space should typically be a half inch. Once that's locked in, we'll take this reveal piece. And you want to make sure you have the color side. You want to pull, there's often a protective film you'll take off. And make sure you have the right side. So this is your primer side. This is the color side on this one. It's silver. So it can be a little hard to tell, so you want to always check. And that slides in to that notch down there. Just like that. So once you've got your panels locked together, You'll fasten, you'll be on the other side here, you'll be on the exterior. You'll fasten your clips to your plywood or your Z-bar, whatever you're fastening to. And then typically you'll slide this in after you've got those screwed. So once those are screwed, you slide that in and it's covered. I'll flip that over and show you what the finished product's going to look like. So you can see with the reveal in there, I mean, obviously normally it would run all the way down, right? But with the reveal in there, this is the final look. You can't see the fasteners, you can't see the clips, and it gives you a beautiful, clean finish. So that's basically it. Um, you want to make sure you're running plumb, that your corners run straight as you stack these. That's really, really important because they all interlock together. And so if you run off, if you start your piece crooked, you're in big trouble. So it's very important to make sure you start out perfect, especially on a 
larger wall or something. So that's it. That's the basics. Thanks.